What's up, beautiful people? It's Seldon here, playing support Cerberus, a company here by Kronos, playing against what looks like a Shibalanki Kumba combo with uh, Sir Ket in the jungle and Mercury, a very bad Mercury in our jungle as well. Uh, applying some pressure, it looks like. Got shell because Kronos is not the one who's gonna win the fight. That's his clear. Him aiming at me is actually good for me. I'm totally fine with this. Got a body block. Double potting here. We still have our shell, so it's all right. He had to choose between me and minions, he chose me, which is wrong. We're gonna take some damage here. He always chooses me. Which is actually really good for me. They're going for their purple because their aggression did not pay off. And that's a first blood in the mid lane. Pretty good. Somehow Kukulkan is still unhappy with that. I, I, I don't even know, man. We now have our stun, which is pretty good. I triggered his two by coming up close. That's his beats. Shibalunky beats. Our comms are actually working, by the way, which is surprising considering we were playing Smite and all. That's his two being triggered. And there's a kill. I decided to pop shell just in case. Not really sure what I expected that to happen, but it was good anyway. I don't know why Kronos ain't backing. He should have backed. He's now in trouble if I don't come there fast enough. Be careful, right? Shiblanki will appear any second now, and uh, yeah. There he is, he's dead. Okay. One game! Oh, the child I has been slain. What an idiot. <laughs> That's a good one. Enemies in left lane. Was it hard to just walk back like a normal person would? That's his two. It gives nothing. Probably gonna hold these. Just apply some damage to him, nothing major there. Gonna heal all of that up. Oh, maybe not all of it. Okay. I am dead, though. Yeah, my three was not up yet. And there's Hercules, muted. Oh, did I put the ward there? I was trying to pop a potion there. <laughs> Fortunate. Alright, good kill. Is ready. Whole gang, middle lane. 
<laughs> Let's do that. It should be fun. An enemy has been slain. Man, that ain't right. This works as well. Got a word up mid. It's all right. We still have shell. I'm dead though. All right. Kogolgan decided to stay. He's probably gonna die for that as well. Okay, so Cronus is level 7, while Shivalanki is level 5. We put him ahead enough. He should be able to kill Shivalanki now whenever he wants. Oh, Kokulkin is dead. Just like I said, wait. So, no surprise there. Not letting him back just now. Gonna heal all of that up. Catch up with him? No. Be right back. I guess I'll Thanks. hold the lane for the right. Shulunk is backing. Enemies have returned to base. Oh, well, that's not how holding looks like, but whatever. Just make sure they're not doing it for some reason. Make him dash. As soon as he dashes, we're going in. <laughs> okay. He doesn't even need that. Fortunately, this is down. Red buff is also down and the oracles are down. We're gonna take the timer, try not to slip it. And we're gonna back in like a hundred gold. Now we have our void stone, which is pretty good. We'll also grab a couple words. Kokolkan is dead. Oh, looks like Sir Ket jumped under the Kokolkan ult. That happens a lot when you chase uh, Kokolkan in the jungle. Warden up in mid. Didn't hit him. That's a bomb that he wasted. Let's look at their small camp and might be up. What are you doing, bitch? Oh, damn it. That was Agni. But I almost deleted that, Sir Cat. And there goes the payback. Mercury actually killed him. Mercury should be dead there. Yeah. No way around that. 
I look at the gold fury just to make sure they're not doing some weird shit. Okay, uh, I don't think it was worth an ultimate there, but still. Be careful, right? I am dead. I should be. There's Merc. Not paying attention, Kumba Karna is gonna get away. Somehow Kronos got soloed, which is not what I like to see. It looks like it was really close, looks like Kronos decided to hold to his ultimate, and it didn't work well for him. Show him the money! Set up an ambush here! Your right tower is under attack! <laughs> gonna put as much damage as I can here. Where was my one? Aw, damn it. If I shoot that one, he would have died, but he didn't. All they got out of that is a trade, a support for support. Um, just not killing a Shibalanki with 10%, I don't know. Two people just let him pass. I feel like Agni just dashed, but this might not be right. Oh, that was an unfortunate stun. I should be able to walk out of it somehow, but I didn't. Kill him? Might try though. Agni just dashed. And meanwhile, Kronos is soloed again. Your right tower Fucking hell. Your right tower has been destroyed. That was a mistake. Hello? Hello? Your right
right tower is under attack. Man, that ain't hey. hey. Set up an ambush hey. here. Look, hey. Look, hey. Hey. Look, hey. Hey. Look, bro. That was good enough. Or cat beats. You deserve me. Middle lane. An enemy has been slain. You deserve me. Your team has destroyed a right enemy tower. Completed on my way. Get him, please. <laughs> on my way, on my way. Think. I force her cat in here. She's now low HP and everything. Hopefully, my team will be able to benefit. <laughs> that was funny. Get her Magi's, huh? She's definitely going for their red. Alright, so this team is losing their shit for a reason or without. Let's see what we can do about that. We'll buy a word and put it there. That's a long as fuck mess. Retreat, group up. Get him to Retreat, retreat. Can I retreat? They're not kind of allowing me to retreat, you know. Oh, 
Oh, that was predictable. What is happening in right lane? <laughs> oh damn. Retreat, middle lane. Damn, I like uh, Cerberus so much. Lately has been like my favorite support, like a go-to support. His damage is relevant at any point in the game, has slows, his CC if you're able to hit them. Since I play a lot of things like Thandados, I'm always able to hit most of these, so looking pretty good for me. And his prep for the CC is really simple. You don't need to be like doing some weird shit. That's a bomb. Fighting some Wukong of all things. Yo, that damage though. Your team is Holy titties. Meanwhile, Mercury is taking the right Phoenix, which is okay. On my way. Gank. Okay. Oh, looks like we're not taking fire per se. Wait, that's knock up immune. Good stuff. What is she doing? <laughs> She's not doing anything. She blinks out. I'm gonna chase her a little bit. I guess she gone into direction of our smalls.
Oh, that's our visa anyway. We gotta go. We really gotta go. Okay, they're falling back. No way. Good shit. We're missing Mercury, we should not engage right now. And we're out. It hurts. It hurts. Good for me. So, Mercury's looking to die again. So I'm gonna try and help him not to do that. team is doing but definitely not something that they should be doing so maybe let's group up and do something hey, you guys want to group up and finish the game maybe wouldn't that be lit Your support gets a 3k pot, you know it's serious.
I'll cover for the only direction that we have no words at. Whatever Kukulkan is doing is not what she, he should be doing. What the hell? This should be game. Damn. That was a long as fuck game, guys, but we finally got it. Cerberus. I'm telling you. One of the most fun and most effective supports out there in this split. Alright, so like a super quick summary of this game. Uh, me as Cerberus, I'm going into a weird hybrid build uh, support-ish, but not really. Going Thieves and Sobriety just for the, my team to lay off my back. But at first we're going Voice Stone to get that penetration and damage. Breastplate of Valor for that CDR uh, along with the Shoes of Focus. We're sitting at top CDR with the Purple Pot at the end game, which is good with me. Get the Gem of ISO because I felt that the enemy team really struggles with my slow when I wanted to amplify that and get a little bit more damage. I killed a lot of people with that shit, so that was totally worth it. Blink for initiation to just get that dash out of Agni and Circad and uh, Magic Shell upgraded for that Kronos because you don't get Sprint 2 because Kronos is not that kind of aggressive in the early game. Comparing that to Kumbakarna, Kumbakarna's build is pretty random, Stone Binding is a bullshit item, don't buy it. Everything else is somewhat okay. Uh, he got Sprint, he got Shell, he doesn't get Blink so his initiation sucks. He tries to cover for these guys and it doesn't work. Kronos, as my partner there, was doing a decent job in the end game, but in the mid game he was completely trashed by a Shibalanke that was three levels behind him. This is how I left him in the lane and he still was getting soloed over and over and over and over, most of the times not even using his ultimate, which is just pathetic. Kukulkan in the mid was not doing a very hot job. Gameplay was trashy, but he hit a couple of vital ultimates which allowed us to escalate, so I guess we'll take that. Mercury in general wasn't doing anything good, was constantly out of position, was constantly where he should not be has not upgraded relics even though we're flashing purple pots even i had a like a 3k pot he still hasn't upgraded his relic which means that he's not paying attention to the game whatsoever hercules a general toxic son of a bitch plays like trash trashes everyone around him not worth my time sam Kong was doing decent job but i caught him with a stun at the end game which actually allowed us to finish off this really long game for good so maybe their team are not happy with them. Sir Ket, however, with the Mage's Clock, got completely unreachable for me. I wasn't able to do a lot. She was getting in there, doing her stuff and getting out freely. Not of my CC matter at this point. Agni is the person that I was sitting on top of because I felt like he was doing the most impact and judging by the score, his gameplay was on point, his build is on point. And yeah, that's why I always try to blink on him as soon as he dashes and just, just be in his face, just not allow him to do what he wants to do and maybe kill him once in a while, which works as well. The best CC is the dead CC, right? In terms of numbers, <laughs> I'm actually chunking. I am out damaging Kumba by AK. I am close in damage to Sir Cat, to Mercury, just 4k short of him, to Kokolkin as well. Just 6k short of Kokolkin. <laughs> this is just bad of him. This just shows how Mercury and Kokolkin were bad. Surprisingly enough, Hercules dishing out some numbers there, but yeah, just like I said, this Agni was controlling the game for the enemy team 
and me being his face really helped a ton. In terms of kill participation, I am having 22. How much do we have in general? 38 out of 22, uh, 22 out of 38 is pretty good. So let's look at the comparisons here, 33K uh, comparing to Sambukon who actually did 29, just 4K on top, not a whole lot, but around 10%. Mercury, same damage with Circad basically, ADCs, same damage, mids, yeah. This is this is right here. Agni is escalating on the enemy team. I'm escalating on our team and just trying to control the game as much as possible. And this is what won us the game. There you go, guys. Cerberus game of support. Really good support. I enjoy playing him a lot. Whenever I get support nowadays in rank, I go straight for the Cerberus. Works every time. Even against Kumba Karnas that can disable your two with their mess. Usually if you position yourself correctly, it'll cost them too much to do that, so you will be able to dish out all that damage anyway, and clear the wave, and then you can clear the camps, you can kill people, you can drop them in the air and set up big ultimates like a Kulk in there. Totally great character. Enjoy him a lot lately. And if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.